Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tanicoma. We're gonna do one cast today. It's Monday the 21st of January. And they, I was gonna look, they really shut the water back. Uh, they were running four this morning. And I'm guessing they're running 30 now. 30 megawatts, less than one unit. It's just barely moving. Uh, 25, 25, 701.52, 1700 CFS. They were running 12, 13,000 CFS this morning. Oh, so in Table Rock, I was going to look at Table Rock. I guess Table Rock is down below nine. 915.88, so it's well below 916. So we have a reprieve from the high water. Just a few f people out there fishing, um, not very many at all. So I really don't have a report, especially at the water low like this, but I'm gonna try throwing a 16th ounce olive jig, a two pound line. I went up, tried fishing up around Fall Creek, but the wind is real, is whipping really hard up there. It's out of the east. And uh, even in these pockets where there's no wind, it picks up. So it's been a little tough fishing. I see some midges hatching, but I don't see any fish rising. So I'm going to try it here. I'm, there's a first dock. Well, Sun Valley used to be right here, so kind of know where I'm at. And the wind is a little tougher on the other side of the lake, so I wanted to stay over here. In fact, it's just a little tough right here. It's blowing just a little bit. I'm still gonna fish on the bottom. comes the wind. I think it's blowing me a little bit. This is an olive PJ, PJ jig. Nothing on the first cast. picking up a little bit. It's a little tough down by the resort, so I wanted to come up here. Wayne and I were going to fish this morning after we saw the one shad last night uh, in the water. We wanted to go up below the dam and try throwing something white just to see if, if that shad did come through the turbines. But it was cold, a little colder than what we wanted to get out and fish. So it kind of looks like a shad in the water right there. No, it's just a, a seedly or something.
nothing. Nothing yet. Oh, saw fish surface out there, so they are coming up, starting eating midges. While that water was running, we didn't see hardly any fish on the surface. Oh, I had a little follow. There's one. Another one midged out there. <clears throat> it's been a while since I caught a fish. It's not a bad little rainbow. Sure wish you wouldn't do that. It hurts. <laughs> Stop it. There you go. I'm gonna throw a couple more times. I've got a a jig and float that's rigged. It's this wind. This wind's starting to pick up, so a jig and float's probably gonna work better anyhow. That bite. See that wind is out of the east, which is right now it's blowing out of the west. So it's curling around and it's funny stuff with that bluff. I'm gonna throw that jig and float just for a minute. I've got a sculpin with an orange head on it. Let's see, it's right here. This is not the normal float that I use for jig and float, so this is one of those floats with the weight in the bottom I could use for for the uh, uh, power worm. So I'm not used to it. It's the only one I had in my pocket. I thought I had brought my bag, but I didn't. Got a little chop on the water so it kind of moves the float, which moves the jig. But I still like to move with the float with my rod every once in a while.
make sure I don't have a big bow in my line, a bunch of slack. I usually don't leave it in one place that long. That was probably a little longer than what I would normally do. I figure that if I don't get a bite in a couple of minutes, I really like it. There's no fish there, or the fish have already seen it and refused it. I'm not going to get a bite. Nothing yet. Now I've got my float set about five feet. I'm going to go a little deeper. I'm going to go about seven feet. ice sickles over on the bluff that are breaking and falling. That's the crashing is what's going on there. Now I've, the wind's kind of blowing me out to the middle of the lake now, so I'm fishing in deeper water. The wind's kind of stopped now though too. Now, if this doesn't work, that would be about the time I would go to a different color. Maybe a ginger or a white or pink, you know, something a little bit lighter since this is a darker jig. Or maybe a sculpin and ginger combination. I wouldn't go back with another dark jig. Chartreuse and black, black and yellow.
I don't want to throw it too far from the boat because I want to be able to see the float. Through about 20 feet or so, 25 most. Kind of act like it was on the bottom. Let's try that again. Okay, now a fish just came up and now he's going to try to eat my float again. <sighs> it happens. It's a little frustrating. Seeing I haven't gotten any bites on the real lure that I have out there. There's just a little rainbow. It's so one of my favorite jig and float colors. Either brown with orange head or a sculpin orange head. I'm gonna throw out one more time as the wind picks back up. This is really, really good. Good conditions for a jig and float. Just not this jig and float. Okay guys, thanks for watching. This is a long one cast and probably a little boring, but hope I was um, this descriptive and well, my hook is, for some reason, bent out. It was not bent out when I threw it out there. All right, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.